So, we are sitting here on the precipice of another could-be-huge update. I've heard along the grapevine that there's reason to be excited, just like there's reason to be excited here in Minnesota, as we have a chance to clinch the playoffs. So, we'll see if we'll win a game. <laughs> and the jury's still out, but the pretenders are finally starting to be separated from the contenders which i love to see it's yeah, gonna be a bloodbath this postseason leave a like down below subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comment section down below is your team gonna be in the offs or are they gonna be having a early off season this year here we go brand new other program pennant chase let's go ahead and see what we've got baby surely some 99s. Surely some good cards. There's these pennant chase packs. Wow. Oh, it's gold or better. Interesting. <laughs> what? Okay, so gold or better player item. A chance. One of six odds. A chance. Math wasn't my strong suit, but I think that's, what, 16% chance? To pull one of these big bastards, 99. Here we got Troy Gloss. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, maxed out everything, I, I guess. I, they must really think Angel fans are hurting in this time of need. You know, they reminiscing on the glory days, what used to be. Uh, this card is insane. I know people don't like Troy Gloss's swing. Calm down. It's okay. Uh, that is fantastic. That's an insane card, objectively speaking. Mike Schmidt, again, people call him Mike Shit in reference to his swing. And they just give out the 99s to cards that people don't like. I've liked Mike cards in the past. I think this one will be pretty good too. The Vision is going to get a hit. Only 80. That's... He couldn't see, I guess. The eye black got in his eyes there. He's got max fielding. He's a good card. He's got really good attributes. I think the gloss probably clears just by a little bit. Uh, here we got Whitey Ford for the Yankees. Uh, he's got a sinker. He didn't throw too hard, he, and he's got 108 BB9. So he's probably going to throw strikes at least at a decent rate. Max pitch clutch there as well. Good hit nine, and... Max Stamina, baby! He can go for a while. The ladies love him. Uh, we've got Willie Stargell showing off his best angle. Max Power, as you'd expect with the Stargell card. Uh, good contact. Once again, low vision. Uh, fielding, uh, that's way higher than I'd expect on a Stargell card. But the speed draws me right back in. Good luck if you're going to put him in the outfield. Then we got Madison Bumgarner. We'll show off uh, the goods first. The hitting attributes... Come on, yeah, that's not nice. 30 36. He had some bombs. Maybe not in the postseason, but come on, let's respect Mad Bum. We don't know how many more years he's got in the bigs. He, he might have played his last one this year. He's got good stats 120 hit 9, 107 BB9. He didn't throw hard. He's going to throw a lot of strikes, max pitch clutch. He's got the cutter circuit combo, and there's a bit of a velocity differential. I'd like to see a little bit more, but it's solid. So, yeah, I'm a little curious exactly. We'll see a little bit more here how you're going to get these. I'm assuming it's not just a random chance here. Like, there has to be some way to get those cards, right? Uh, here we got Michael Waka, Halen from Iowa, the state below Minnesota, both in geography and everything else. He's looking like what you'd probably expect a 97 kind of shitty Michael Walker card looks like. We got JBJ, Red Sox legend. He's uh, looking like JBJ. I mean, I can't really deny that. That's kind of what I think of when I think of Jackie Bradley Jr. Jose Altuve, they refused. Well, I guess he did get a 99, but he's gotten like 13 sub 99s. This card's pretty good. I mean, again, if you want to say a 97 with the captain boost yeah he's pretty good but alone probably not the big reward here i guess is raleigh fingers 99 overall uh he he's gonna be good <laughs> raleigh fingers is always like one of the best relievers in the game 
He, uh, I mean, he does not take no for an answer. Those fingers go where they want, and he dominates with the control that he has in the BB9. He didn't throw too hard again. I've said that 15 times. If you didn't know, the only two things that matter for control, how tight your par is going to be, is soft tossers are going to be more accurate, and then BB9. That's the only thing that actually matters. He's going to be great. He's going to be really good. And then there's a pennant chase choice pack, which we got some 99 World Series MVPs. I do got to say, extremely lazy on the card art. Extremely. They're holding everything back. Uh, then there is stage two. Level 21 to 26, where you're going to get uh, a chance at these cards once more. Uh, so it does look like that's probably the only way to get these pennant chase cards is through that pack right there, which is, you know, is what it is. They're going back to the stage concept here. So you have to earn enough points to move on to stage two and go from there. So how do you gain points? Let's talk about that briefly. Uh, there's moment challenges. They're themed based off postseason events. I always think that's cool. At its finest, I mean, moment challenges are cool. You're reliving baseball history. That, that is a cool concept. Uh, there's a conquest with about 10 teams in there. Certainly not going to be a, a fast one. It's going to take a decent bit of time, probably longer than you'd like. There's a showdown for 15 points as well, facing off against Whitey Ford. Chase Pack Collection, where if you add these guys in, because they are sellable on the market, that's 10-point progress there's an event collection, as we've seen. We'll talk about those cards as we get there. Uh, they're going back to specific card-themed missions. I hate that. Everybody said they hated it, but they brought it back anyway. Once again, it doesn't seem like they really have any care to aid the people who prefer to play the game online. It's still offline driven which that's been the prerogative all year that's not surprising um we'll see how much these cards go for in the long run looks like 100k right now but nobody has them so i wouldn't take too much stock into that and sorry about the big boys the guys that you care about jeremy pena not a 99 based off list year has not quite had the same sophomore success as he did in his first year uh but you got to give him credit i mean rookie year Look great, huge contributor for the Astros winning the chip last year. And he's pretty good. 100 vision, diamond defense. I think you could boost that even a little bit higher. The arm's a little bit low. He's got max speed, 110 plus contact, 105 plus power both ways. And he is two quirks. I mean, not a bad card. I do think, weirdly enough, I don't know. Are these Penna Chase cards better? <laughs> At least off Jeremy Pena, they might be. Uh, Solaire! With fielding, <laughs> with 80 fielding and 80 reaction. They said it couldn't be done. It probably shouldn't have been. Now we're getting a little fantasy land right now, but he's great. Max power. Home run against the Astros, I don't think, is still fell from the skies there in Houston at all-time moment. Then we got Johnny Bench. Johnny sits on the bench. I hate his cards objectively. That's personal bias for sure. He could have max attributes, and I'd still say he's mid. Uh, I don't know. I just never get too excited. I, I don't feel anything for a Johnny Bench card. Am I alone in that thought, or do I just have a severe Cincinnati hatred? It could be. I'm not exactly sure. So that's what's in the Pennant Chase program. I did see something involving Showdown on the back. What are those cards there? Let me give it a gander. What what exactly? Oh, you earn some of the pennant chase packs in showdown. So that's cool. I mean, one out of six odds that say if you get, uh, I don't know, 20 packs. Usually you would think you get a couple of the 99s. Like maybe you pull two out of that rate. That's kind of the consensus. So I don't know. We'll see how much those end up going for. Not bad. Interesting concept. They're trying something new. I still don't know if that's exactly the best move. Uh, on one hand, I like that they are sellable. That's good. More cards should be on the market. There should be ways to make stubs in this game, except slaving away on the marketplace, flipping cards endlessly as if that's something that should be seen as enjoyable. It's Luis Gonzalez. Uh, let me shut up. Very good. I mean... With the Tigers. I don't think we've seen a Tigers card for Luis Gonzalez before. Great contact, great power, 91 against lefties. Uh, it's going to play fine. Max Vision, 
115 clutch. I mean, he looks great. One of the best wings. I always love his cards. He had that 197. It was like one of the few event cards that are actually decent he had earlier on this year. We got Tom Glavin. I mean, they're showing out with these 99 pack cards. I, go figure. They're, they're hitting home once again. He's got sinker cutter combo. He's going to throw tremendously slow, which means he will not throw a single ball <laughs> With this card, uh, he's good. 104 plus on every per nine. Uh, he looks good. One of the best uh, starters in the game currently uh, that are allowed in sets and seasons as we speak. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's what's there. We also have event content, which they're going with Alan Trammell. Not exactly the name that you would typically think of with, uh, oh yeah, I mean, of course, you know. Alan Trammell should be the 99-12 win event reward. Obviously. You know, who else would it be? Uh, here he is. He's decent, I guess. Max fielding, 84 speed, max contact, max clutch, 113 vision, and a respectable enough power. I mean, it's, it's solid. It's like Tony Gwynn if he was a righty and skinny. So there we go. Is that worth 12 wins in one event run? I'm not sure, but... You better start getting on your knees and licking some boots because they, I tell you, did they ever really just cross everything our, off our Christmas list. They gave out a 97 for five wins. You are my saint, whoever made that decision. You are so, so incredibly gracious. I can't put it into words. It's difficult, truly. Matt Holiday. What a card right there. Then for 20 wins, a 97 Chris Taylor. I don't know, man. He's one of the most... Uh, well, this is from 2017. Okay, I thought this was going to be... Well, I guess that was Divisional Series in 2021 that he had the big performance. Um, I mean, it's solid. It, it's, it's a 97. There's not really too much more else to say about it. So, yeah, that's their prerogative with these Pennant Chase cards and this whole new program is they're putting out these 99s in a pack that you can't buy... You have to earn it by playing the game, and there's a handful of packs. I mean, you play one game, you get a pack, you get a chance at a 99. I don't hate the concept. I think it's actually a good concept, something that you should strive for, something that makes playing the game a little bit more exciting. The only thing is, you can do that, but you can still put a little bit better content in the actual program. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's cool, that's fine, but this stuff that's guaranteed is still dog shit. Like, this is content that people aren't necessarily going to be excited for, or almost certainly necessarily will not be excited for. So I, I don't know. One step forward, half a step back. Overall, I did like uh, the concept here. Decent. We'll see uh, this tops now. How did I not talk about Heston Kirstead? We talked about Heston Kirstead in a recent video. Go check out the third channel. We talked about the Mike Trout trade. We got... Gabriel Moreno, that looks like the mustard yellow Jags jerseys that they had a couple years ago. PCA, baby. Pete Crow is in the show. That's awesome. MLB The Show legend and future MLB legend, too. Logan Porter wearing those Kansas City Monarchs unis. I fucking love those. They look so sweet. Heston, Ker uh, Heston Kerstead again. Pretty good. He's got contact. 110 power. Nico Big bicep, Nico Horner gets a card. Max Fielding, as only he should. And then Spencer Steer. The Reds getting a little bit more love right here as well. I, I feel like they could buff up tops now to 99s at this point. I feel like they could. There's nothing holding them back. I don't think Robert Manfred would come for throats, but maybe he would. Maybe I just don't know old Robbie Gaptooth Manfred as well as SDS does. Next week, we have career tributes. I'm sure we'll get a Miguel Cabrera. I'm guessing Adam Wainwright. Congrats to him for 200 wins. He got it. Uh, we're also getting a new ranked seasons, which is going to be exciting. And then looking forward to October, probably the final roster update until after the postseason. Lightning for September, and we'll start getting programmed content. I think that should... Well, yeah, the wild card games are going to be over by the 6th. And the Minnesota Twins are going to move on to the Divisional Series. God willing. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching this one as always.